Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Knitistry Nerds Podcast. Episode 29. Uh, 29. I'm Katie. I'm Michelle. And we are in the upstate of South Carolina. It's been two, two weeks since our live. Live and three weeks since episode 28. 28. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Last week was rough, so. It was. We didn't make it last week. We did not. We didn't make it. No. <laughs> didn't make it last week. Um, we got Art Mascots, Earl the Earl of Meyer. And Rhonda the Round Bottom. Cute. They're sweet. So, yeah. Um, any new things? Not really. I don't think life has changed. Not a lot. It's crazy, busy, mm-hmm. tired. Lots of work. <laughs> We're tired. It's a Wednesday, mm-hmm. and um, we just finished our teacher meeting stuff and mm-hmm. so now we're recording teacher ready to talk about yarn it's, just, it's all it's tiring though. it is tiring i don't know why hello james hello we're recording and now he's gonna be quiet <laughs> why he'll be tiptoeing around he um, just got home from work so oh yeah okay but yeah um, yeah no there's not been a whole lot of no no. Changes. Pretty. Pretty much same old, same old. Yeah. Football and knitting and teaching. That's pretty much it in my life. Uh, knitting, teaching. Knitting, teaching. I went to the beach. <laughs> yes, right. Y'all had a weekend away. Yeah, we went to Isle of Palms, South Carolina for the weekend just to get away for a little bit. It was really nice. Yeah. There was like nobody there. The weather was perfect. Yeah, um, it was a good weekend, weather-wise. Found a lot of half sand dollars. I got a lot of half dollars. <laughs> sandy half dollars, half sandy, sandy dollars, half sandy, yeah. yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, but yeah, it's been it's been kind of quiet as yeah. like as far as things being different. There's it's not necessarily quiet, just not anything new. Yeah, nothing new, but yeah. which is kind of a good thing because we've been able to just kind of rest and get stuff done. But yeah. well, sort of gotten stuff done. I mean, I've been monotonous on one project since our live. I think you have been two. Except I've done two. Mm-hmm. I finished one from the live after the live, and one that I pulled off the needles at the live, dropped stitches. Mm. I fixed it and did about an inch on it. Look but I've been very monogamous. I've got to get this yeah. test net done. It's got to be done so by Sunday. Has to be done by Sunday. So I'm I'm getting there. I'm well, getting there. Let's start with that then, because that leads okay. us right well, into well. Whips. I have I have an FO. She does an FO. You, I did FO. finish one. FO. Um, one FO. So happy happy. Um, you've seen this a million times, and if you watched our live last week before last, um, or if you've watched it since we did it, um, this is the Earth Chevron. You are at U R T H Earth. It's made out of Earth fingering, unique fingering, and um, two skeins, and it's called Earth Chevron. It's a, I think it's a free pattern. I think it was a free pattern, but um, I really I've been working on it forever, and I finally finished it. I've got like that much yarn over left over. I worked it all the way down to the very itsy bitsy, but um, I love these colors. I love these colors, and so that's it. I, it is not blocked, and the ends aren't woven. There's two or three ends because where I had the two skeins, but that's that's the back side, and then there's the front side. All done. So there's. This was the final end because there's just a little bit of blue down here, the light blue. And then that's the middle and then all the way back to the beginning. So see, it started with the light blue, light blue in the middle, and then the light blue at the end. That's why I did it on purpose. So um, It's going to get blocked. Hopefully, well, not this weekend because it's my husband's 40th high school reunion on Saturday. <laughs> So it's going to be a bit busy this weekend. You know, um, but I will get it blocked and um, ends woven in, but and so I can wear it because we are pattern. starting to. It is a free pattern. There it there is. There it is. But that's that one. Yay! NFL. Yay! <laughs> okay. Then I have one one whip, so she's gonna. I'm gonna go again. She's gonna go again. All right. This is the um, in a Tammy's. Homesteading with Tammy, bake bag maker. We've talked about this before, but this is a Star Wars. You know, I'm in Star Wars. This is my Star Wars bag, and um, here's Sonsi. Got a Sonsi. lot done since y'all saw this. So yes. Go ask. So this is a test net she's been working on for Beth McDonald Stone, is which is she's the designer that I did the um, the big green boxy blue raglan for, and this is 
saucy. It's so pretty. So see, it's got, this looks so good. I love, I tried it on. And this stands up and it's got serious 60, 1960s vibes. And then the bottom, all right, I haven't done the stitch. I haven't sewn the hem down just yet. It's folded up. See, it folds up and shows just that little bit of purple, just like up at the collar. So I'm going to have to stitch that down. You can see the lifeline there where I marked so that I can um, stitch it down and stay on the same row all the way around when I go. Smart. And then one sleeve is, the first sleeve is almost done. I'm working on the dark purple it's that's going to fold back up underneath and make it. So when I tried it on, when I finished the bottom and I tried it on, um, the way the collar fits and looks on, and then the, I'm, I, have, I, I made the body about two inches shorter, because uh, short body, and I just thought it would look better with the, a, more of a cropped full look it just begged for shorter sleeves i mean it 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 just said 1960s and it needed a, a shorter sleeve so i'm doing the sleeve shorter too they're about i want to say two inches shorter yeah. than what they are in the pattern so um because it just it just cried out for it it just really did so see it's going to have that little bit of purple on the edge so and cute. be that hemmed up and it's going to hit about right there so essentially bracelet length mm -hmm. to three quarters to a bracelet length about right here um so i'm really loving it again it's um a loft mohair held double with malabrigo worsted for the periwinkle lavender part and then this is a sock yarn from stitch together in um Inigo montoya is my name is the purple with a dark purple mohair and this has a light purple mohair with it so anywho we're That's almost pretty. there so so close i'm gonna finish this and then that sleeve i think i'll have all that done by friday and then i'll hem it and block it pictures and pictures and yeah philip's gonna have to take pictures philip have to take pictures now. yeah yeah um but anyway that's been a labor of love. It has been so much fun to knit. And I can't wait to wear this. It's not cold enough here yet, it's not but cold it will be soon. It will be eventually. Okay. I only have one more. I got one. Okay. I'm in the middle of a row, too. Sorry, guys. Oh. When the rows take you an hour and a half to, to do, you, um, you kind of have to stop in the middle. middle of a row when, you know, you got to make dinner or whatever. All right. So this is Slip Shavaganza from Stephen West. I've shown this a couple pretty. times. So I have finally finished section five. Five was the triangle. So I was talking about those bloody triangles the last time we That's had our lives. That's how much a while ago. <laughs> no, those tiny little triangles. Um, I'm doing the short version because I don't think I can do six chevron stripes and um, keep my sanity. I did the short one too. Um, so I have, I'm completely done with my red yarn right there. That's it. I've already put that away. Um, and now I'm working on the, can you see them? The blue, my that blue pretty. chevron parts. Um, and so there'll be the blue ones. And then the last ones I'll do is the, the white color. And then I get to do all that I-cord bind off. It's a lot. Over it's a lot of I cord. It is a it's at least nine hundred and fifty stitches I now. So just oh yeah, one hundred and fifty times three and or nine hundred and fifty times three and yep. Yeah. It's a lot. I'm I'm not I cord binding off when I finally finish Garter Abyss. I think I'm just gonna bind off and bind go. off and be done. Even though I'm not sure more. I'll ever finish, but. <laughs> Still gotta dye some yarn, guys. I need, I need to get doing that again. I got time now. Yeah, we got we gotta garter a bit. Make it happen. That needs to be the um, yeah. carry everywhere project. Yes, it is. I meant to talk about the lifeline thing a little bit more. You did, yes. Um, it's here. when you're using interchangeable needles, especially. Okay, if I wasn't if I was not using interchangeable needles, I would thread my thread on a darning hook. A yeah, needle. A sewing up needle. With a crook, the bent tip ones, because I think that helps you pick it up better as you go across the, the, the bent tip ones and just feed it through. And that doesn't take that long. It's not that big a deal. But the joy of doing it on interchangeables is that there's a hole in your interchangeable needles. Okay, there's, it's the tightening up hole. Some, some of them, like um, these Knitter's Pride, 
Can you see that there? Okay, it's where, very hard to see. It's very there's, hard. There's a there's tiny hole down here low, and then there's the bigger hole up here where you um, put the little tool in to tighten it up. You help you tighten up. Well, I this is what I use. I had to buy a new new spool of it because I'm just about out. I've used almost all of what I had left on this particular sweater, so I grabbed a new ball of yarn at um, Walmart. Yeah, I got it at Walmart. It's just classic crochet thread, size 10, crochet thread. And see how tiny and thin that is? It fits perfectly in those holes. Even my old bad eyes can just pop it right in it's and go. It's stiff too, isn't it? Yeah, it's got, so it's it got some, some sizing on it, so, or starch, so that it, um, it'll stay stiff and you can just poke it right through. It is so easy. I mean, you, you pull it through and then and tighten a knot back on itself. And then you just shove it back inside your stitches that are on the needle and then go to town and work. And it just threads it through it. When you get back out, you pull it out and cut that knot out. And then you've got, there it is. See, there you can see my knot. There's the knot where I cut it. There you can see it. You can see that knot. Where I cut it, the string's hanging off of it. The other end is loose right there. And it's just sitting there waiting for me marking that row so i know where to sew when i fold the hem in i know exactly where to sew it it'll stay even and it won't get off by a row or two which i've been known to do you can also use it if like um you need a lifeline because you might need to go back for yeah. some reason um a lot of people use it in color work or lace work and lace, lace work. work it's huge so i used you, it a lot when i was doing those big lace shawls yeah you essentially every five to ten rows or so you put a new lifeline in so if you make a big mistake you only have to go back five or ten rows and you don't have to like yeah tink back lace work like right. that is not fun no it, color works the same way i'd rather not have to tink back color work especially where i've used it the most is in light in silk especially oh, yeah. silk lace patterns where I'm using a silk yarn, something slippery, a slippery yarn. Because if you decide you need to go back and correct one or two stitch, maybe three stitch wide swath, you really only need to drop it back three or four rows in a slicky yarn. That sucker going. just, and it'll just sink back to the bottom if you can't, if you don't catch it or prepare for that. So the um, lifeline, lifeline keeps it from unraveling further than you want it to. It stops it. So um, if you forget a lifeline, you can always put one in. Like it, uh, yeah. I think it's more difficult with lace work, but if you're just doing stockinette or just plain knit, you can put it in. It's just in, um, in, on interchangeable needles. It's perfect. Yeah, it's easy. You don't have to think about it. It's automatically, even in yarn overs, mm -hmm. it's automatically there on that particular row. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you just pull it out real easy. The reason I started using the cotton thread, the crochet cotton to do this is because it's got tooth to it. It has that sizing. It doesn't slip around. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to, I mean, it pulls easily, but you have to put some force to it to get it to go. So it, it doesn't, doesn't slip out. and slide around, didn't fall out. So um, I like that. Um, but it works that way. So I just wanted to talk about that because we haven't ever talked about lifelines. Well, we've mentioned them, mm -hmm. I think, but we haven't really talked about how to do them. There's, you know, a bajillion YouTube videos ways, on yeah, it and yeah. things, but I just wanted to show you what I did because I've had to do it three times. Well, no, twice so far. I'm going to do it a third time on the other sleeve. Other sleeve yeah. But here we go. Okay. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> You're knitting. I, I got nothing else. I got one more thing. Okay. If y'all watched our live, by the way, this is a Criminal Minds fabric bag from Fates Thread that we've talked about before. And um, she's got, oh, I love her bag. She's got all kinds of different fandoms. Mm -hmm. And um, she's so funny. And she does a lot of the embroidery. Matter of fact, if I ever show a bag that's got embroidered something on it, it's Fates Thread. I think that's the only ones I've got. Um, anyway, this is a, a BAU Criminal Minds one. This is my Covoy, Cov, Covu. Covu light by Caitlin. <laughs> I can't talk, y'all. It's been hysterical all day, me trying to say words because not she happening. can't word right now. Okay, I'm, I know, and I'm going to be low energy today through this, or low for me. Um, yesterday, some of my little darlings came into first period having just sprayed themselves with a half a can of Axe body spray, and I'm allergic. 
um, deathly allergic to synthetic scents, especially Axe body spray ones. In my new classroom, the windows don't open. So I couldn't air my room out. I don't have a fume hood in there. And I don't have open windows. And I quit breathing. And I got out and got outside and got fresh air and got to breathing again. But then I started throwing up. Because that's how my body purges after, uh, when I am exposed to something that I'm allergic to, breathing-wise. It was a mess. So I ended up going home around 9.30 and just trying to recuperate and quit throwing up. It was awful. So I'm really tired today. Tired. Very tired. Um, tarred. Super tarred. Anyway, Kovu Light. Kovu Light by Caitlin Hunter. You know, links in the show notes below. Um, that I started a year ago. It mm -hmm. just came up in my, my cast on came up in my, <laughs> one year ago today oh, from yeah. Google yeah. Pictures. Oh, yeah. Google Photos. Anyway, so, um. During the live, I was showing this as one of my whips that had been in hibernation, and I dropped stitches and lost the stitch marker and all kinds of things. And as you can tell, there's color work on every row of this thing. So I sat down and worked on it, and I did a whole inch. Look, I did a whole <laughs> inch on this yoke um, of the Kovu, Koivu. I don't know. It's K O I V U A, Koivu Q. Kovu? Kovu. Kovu. I'm the wrong person to ask. I, I have no idea how to pronounce yeah, things. Yeah, this looks really good on camera. It does look good on camera. It looks good in person, too. It really does. I can't wait. Okay, here's the neck. It's the neck. I can't wait to wear this. It's pretty. You have good color choices. I like that. Um, background color, that corally colors, mold wine is the color name from Madeline Tosh. It's Madeline Tosh Sport. Tosh Sport. And the color changing stuff is from Zowerball. It's one of the Zowerball color changing things that I got at Webbs. Number six or something like that, right? I don't think it's Stark Six. I think it's the fingering weight one. Oh, okay. Stark Six is the sport weight one. I think. I got it. There it is. Um, oh, it is Stark Six. Yeah, you said it was uh, Sport Metal and Tosh. It is. Okay, it is. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, didn't you say your Madeline Tosh was sport weight? That was the strawberry... Y yeah, uh, mountain... Mountain cow yeah. that I'm using the, the fingering. Zara Ball fingering yeah. that has a different name. Sorry, guys. We went through all those whips, and now they're all running together in my brain. Or together anyway, in bags. Together in bags. <laughs> all the bags. Um, bag lady. Bag ho. Um, anyway, I got about an inch done on it, so I felt very, very positive that I got a little bit done on that. Yo, I'm so proud. That was all in it. Yeah, we have not done a lot. Well, I mean, we've done a lot, just just not on multiple projects. We haven't done a lot of different things. No, yeah. we're both trying. We're both trying to get whips done. So which, let's let's talk, let's about, talk that. about that. <laughs> so we decided during our lives, if you haven't watched it, we talked a little bit about our, ideas coming from the audience. Yes, um, our yearly, and now it's yearly because this is the second annual uh, experimental, experimental make along. Make along. So we are um, essentially anything with yarn, any kind of experimental thing. It could be an experimental like new designer, new type of yarn, new tactic. Um, you want to try a new. Um, like stitch, whatever it Needles. is, some way to experiment. You haven't ever done magic loop and you want to do magic loop or you haven't um, ever did a pair of socks or yeah, whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to put a time limit and say your experiment is to finish this in 10, 10 days, that that's a great experiment. We really, we're not picky about what classifies as an experiment. Not really. Yeah. Cause so it's going to start on mold day, October 23rd, 10, yeah. 23. Just and run through the end of the year. Yeah, it's just a few weeks because October starts this weekend on mm -hmm. Sunday. Yeah, we're less so, than a month away. Yeah, so less than a month away, just three weeks and a half, something like that. Anyway, so be thinking about what you want to do. And um, we kind of have our own theme for this year for the for us. Yeah. And we are more than glad if you want to join us. We'll kind of tell you as we went through project management, we realized that we have a lot and we want to finish well, everything. That's why it was in project management because anything that wasn't there was uh, frogged. Essentially, like we went through and we, I think we both frogged a couple of things. We were like, no. well, I have a frog pile. I haven't actually oh, done it yet, but I have a frog pile. It's frogged. One finished object and um, yeah, you, you three 
three I think in projects progress. in progress mm-hmm. whips um, that I'm going to frog when yeah. I have some time. Yeah, but we decided, or we were talking with our, our audience about um, how to kind of remedy this, and our whole experiment on it along for the two of us, and if you'd like to join us, is a whip down. Right. We want to see how many projects we can finish by December, the eve of December 31st. Yeah, by New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. Or before the New Year starts. Yes, yes. So it runs from October 21st through December 31st. 23rd. 23rd through December. <laughs> I can't word today. I <laughs> That's a number. All right. Yeah. Mole day. Mole day. October, October 23rd. 23rd through December 31st. Right. Um, I think we both had about, what, 18, 19 whips. Well, it depends on if you count socks or not. <laughs> we said no on <laughs> no, the, ca- the, we weren't the counting party, socks. but um, or uh, blankets. Blankets are kind of blankets. We're fingers. totally not going to count. Yeah. Um, we yeah, each have a blanket going, mm-hmm. but yes. So, um, so we're not counting blankets. I'm not counting socks. No, no. And if you have a project that is just like one of those things that you just mindlessly work on. Like that's all it's for is just so that you have something mindless to do. I don't think you like you, you choose have, what your you whips choose are, your whips. You choose you know if you want to make a list of I'm going to finish these three things or whatever. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to do a two pronged award system. We're going to have people doing true experiment stuff, and then we're going to do whip downs. Mm-hmm. That's what we talked about the other day. Yeah. So um, so. To start this, you have to kind of know what your whips are. You have to kind of inventory your whips and um, decide in what order you or you know, which ones you want to tackle. And, you know, if it's your whip down goal, I'm going to finish these 10 projects or I'm going to finish these two projects or I'm going to finish this one project, whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Your goal is your goal. Um, and then with that, whatever you're experimenting with, if you're, you're not worried about your whips and you want to whatever you're experimenting try brioche, you want to try two at a time socks, you want to knit something from Andrea Mowry, which knit, you've never yeah, done you want to do an Andrea Mowry, or you want to do a Caitlin Hunter, um, you want to do three colors at a time color work, or you want to learn to crochet, whatever it is, or learn to spin, or try spindle spinning or wheel spinning, something new. Anything you want to try that's new, that's an experiment for you, um, that just trying it gets you into the pool. <laughs> She's being very careful. I'm with trying not to say anything that's going to get the bots yeah. all whacked out. We, we leave those words out. Yeah, just trying so you know. to do it. So, um, so we'll have a, we'll have kind of a two thing. I think what we'll or the whole two prong thing is when we do yeah. it on um, Ravelry. So I've already got the chatter and everything, I think, posted on Ravelry. So that if you want to go in there and kind of look at what, what's in Ravelry in our uh, Ravelry group, I think FO, Whips, and Chatter is all there. And last year, I think we picked one from FOs and Whips. Yeah, because we yeah we didn't pick anything from Chatter. No. And so just FOs and Whips. I should add a third one, our fourth one, doing Whip, whip down. down. So State uh, your goal. Yep. And then your progress. With that being said, stating your goal, we were thinking about creating a digital object, uh, essentially something you could download and either write on virtually or print off to kind of help you decide and keep a track of what you're doing. So what we need to know from you to offer this product is, first of all, what do you want on the digital page? So I think having a spot for what is your goal? It's like you write Mm -hmm. out your goal, um, a spot for you to list your projects that you're focused on, and then like maybe if you want a timeline or do you want, um, I don't know, what else would you put on there? Um, I have a list somewhere where I wrote all this stuff down. Uh Uh-oh. I was trying to think about what I would do. I'd want like a a, a, finish date on there. Yeah, I want to start... You know, approximate start date. When mm-hmm. did you? When did I start this thing? Because you know, I don't remember exact dates, but I do know pretty much when, at mm-hmm. least what year it was. Yeah. Um, well, in some cases, I do. Um, <laughs> but you know, kind of when I started it, and then a finish date. Mm-hmm. Um, or you, well, see some things, some projects you're going to want to have in between dates, right? Like milestones. Yeah, mile markers, whatever you want to call them. We're like, you know, um, I'm way there. I halfway. I got the body done. I got sleeve one done. I got sleeve two done. Um, Ooh, finishing yeah. work is done. Blocked. Yeah. What's and ready to go? Finished. Yeah, finished, blocked, and ready to go. Um, you know, breaking down your parts. Parts, and right. you could set that up for your 
your own self. Listen to me, I sound like the teenagers. You can break it down for yourself and in, in, into what those categories would yeah. be. We could have a progress bar if you wanted like a little yeah, progress bar. progress bar. Oh, I like or, progress bars. Yeah, That's so much just... fun. I'm doing it different colors mm-hmm. and then labeling what the different yeah. progress like. We so buy... like if you've got socks, say, and a sweater mm-hmm. on the same document, you can say, you know. One sock or two. Foot one, heel one, leg one. And then same for number two. Mm-hmm. And then you can, or, you know, list them as sock one, sock two. And then you've got your sweater or you've got your body, neckline bo- or yoke, body, mm-hmm. sleeve one, sleeve two. So like a check, almost like a checkbox for that yeah. kind of but stuff. Yeah, but every, every project would be a little bit different. So you'd want right. a, your own progress Oh, delineation. so there should be a place for a key. Yeah. So that you can make symbols if you want. Ooh. So like a, your... Your symbol for the yoke on your sweater it could be like a little sideways or a smile, essentially. You know, that's your yoke or something like that. Like you could write your mm-hmm. own key and then have the check boxes and underneath everybody could write what their key represents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you could just do it basically as a percentage. Yeah. Just so, like a yeah. fuel bar. I mean, it's something we could create two different styles of we could too. Do like it would styles. not be difficult for us to say, all right, this is the one with the progress bar where you just shade in the... The percentage, and here's one where you can use like a key with symbols of this represents that I finished the yoke. This represents sleeve one, sleeve two, the mm-hmm. body. Uh, color work is done if that you want. You have a color work section. So we really we want to know what if you were to go and like find a document, what would you want on it for a whip down knit along yeah. or rank along? Not that you have to use it. No, no, no. no. It's that's not. But we that we that, want one. Yeah, we want one. We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> For so, us. And we figured we would offer it. And then it we'll offer a, it to y'all. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be a charge or anything. No, it'll be free. It's just a free pattern for you to download. I mean, a free document document for you to download and use how you will. But I'm already picturing printing it out and putting it in a notebook and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm picturing that's the way putting it things. into uh, good notes on my iPad and, like, just virtually. Yeah. I, I can still handwrite. But virtually filling out the documents that I can keep up with it. I'm saying I'm wanting to color code and draw little thingies and maybe put some stickers on it. Yeah, 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 cause, yeah, yeah. that's my thing. Yeah. That's the scrapbooker. But yeah, yeah the scrapbooker versus the scrapbooker in me. You can do virtual stickers. I mean, if that's yeah. yeah. But so we would like to know what you would like. Yes, to see give us on some this. input on what you think, and we will. Yeah, we'll have it done before. I guess we need to have a finished date. What date should we just say? This is when this document will be ready to download. Okay. Well, today is... I don't remember what today is. I've written it down 40... It was my brother's birthday. It's September 27th. It is, yes. Happy birthday, Woody. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Daddy. By the way, my daddy has started watching our watching podcast. Us. Yeah. So I'm saying hello. Um, All right, so the... Calendar. Yeah, found it. The okay. The mid-along is the 23rd. starts the 23rd. Um, you want to be able to right, time to progress. Which is a Monday. Oh, Mondays are good. What if we had it ready the 16th? Or do you think we should have read it sooner? Okay, right. We're recording right now. Mm-hmm. So our done. next recording date would be the 11th. So have it out by the 11th? Yeah. We could show it on the 11th and, and, ready to go. and publish it. And um, so they would have a whole week and a half to... Um, plan. Plan. I like it. Let's do it that way. Okay. All right, so you got to get your comments in by Wednesday, October 11th. 11th. Um, I would say aim for the 10th because if we... You know, just to make sure it gets in on time so that we can actually use it to create something. Yeah. Um, because I will, like, I will need it before the, yeah, it has to be before the 11th so I can create it. Like, I'll pre-make, but. Yeah. Yeah. We but will, we can adjust things. We can, we can. Um, we can, we'll show what we got by the 11th and then if anybody has anything that comes in on the 11th, we can always yeah. tinker. And it'll just be a PDF so you won't have to worry too much yeah, about no, downloading just be a P- new stuff Yeah, it'll just be like a PDF. That. Although, if they're going to be writing on it, well, I guess you just have to open it in something like Cami or... That's what GoodNotes is. In GoodNotes, you can just pull up a PDF, yeah. You, I mean, on your iPad, you can open up even like a Google Doc and just handwrite on it. Yeah, you can. It's called Markup, if you're unfamiliar with your iPad. Um, It's an option you can do. I got the tech. I got the degree in it. Her, yeah, she does have a degree in tech. I got so it. That's her. Oh, I'm old school. I want to just print it. Multiple pages of it, I'm and make it a sure notebook. Kevin or Ray uses Good Notes for like. I think they both do. Do they both? Okay. For the, they uh, they upload their patterns into mm-hmm. it and keep yeah. track of stuff and all that. Uh, if this iPad's alive, 
It is not alive. I'm sorry, I can't it show It's not alive. Um, that one is the one we're recording on. It is, it is. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to record, we're, we're, we'll record next on the 11th mm-hmm. and post by Friday the 13th, hopefully. Um, yeah, because I, I will get the, this, the show notes done because that's when I leave for right. Jacksonville. Yep. Okay. We're going to a football game. I'm so excited. Sorry. I know she's <laughs> not going. She's not me. Her. <laughs> my husband and I are going away for a long weekend to Jacksonville to see the Jaguars. Wait a minute. I get on the beach. Who's who's playing in England? Is it this weekend? Or Jags. Next? Um, have you seen what they're doing for it? Yes, the, the Toy, Toy Story. Story. I might actually watch a football game. <laughs> it's That's so why they're cute. doing it. They're they're, <laughs> they're going to do a animated, I guess, is live what you call animation. It. Live animation in the Toy Story <laughs> Pixar it's so style. Cute. Like if you haven't looked, seen it, like look and it it's, up. and it's going to be held in Andy's room, Andy's bedroom. Yeah. It looks so cute. I guys. Yeah, that, it, that's so cute. My, I mean, my kids grew up on Toy Story. Oh, yeah. Well, the first three anyway. And um, I haven't seen anything beyond the third one. I don't think I have either. It just didn't because the kids got older, and I didn't. I think they've all seen them, but yeah, they got yeah. to the point where they could watch movies on their own, and so I quit yeah. having to watch the. <laughs> All it looks cute though. Like I, I was kind of excited to watch at least I think five or cute. ten minutes of it. I know it looks cute. We'll watch it. I mean, plus, they'll probably show it on mm-hmm. um, the whatever network's carrying. Yeah, the game. I, no I forgot. It but it's at yeah. nine thirty Sunday morning. We're going to be mm-hmm. in Anderson post uh, yeah. reunion, and so yes, I'm going to be getting up to watch the game. Yeah. Anyway. So we will. We need your. We need your input. Yes, please us. let us know what you think. And then we will. Especially those of you who like the note taken and then mm-hmm. you're you're into the logging in of activities. Yeah, I um, know there's more of us out there. And like I, I think even do you want it portrait or landscape or? Yeah, tell us that kind of stuff. Portrait, landscape, and, half half sheet size, full sheet size. Um, what 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 works better for you? Yeah. And we're of course we're not going to be able to accommodate everybody. We will take the most popular things and the things yeah. that we think might be the most beneficial and fit what we can on there. And mm-hmm. then it'll be a work in progress that we can update in the future, and you'll still have access to it again. Yeah, because I I can tell you right now I'm going to want vertical and a half, half a five sheet. size, mm-hmm. you know, half sheet size, um, because that's my favorite size to work yeah. with. Now you could always print in a different size too. I know, so. I know, but I'm just saying that's what I want. But yeah. In my high end, and essentially, essentially I'll make one size, and you can pick when you print it, pick the printer pick the size, size. And, and print but it. But if we make too much stuff on it, it won't print, it won't shrink down, it won't well shrink enough. down well. Yeah. It'll be, yeah, user friendly. And I'll make sure that it's printable front and back. So if you need to print front and back, yeah, those kind of things. Those are the things I think about. It's like, what what size do I want it? Do I want it to print front and back? Yeah, but I'd rather just one side. And then if you're printing, then you can print cardstock or whatever you choose to print. Yeah, on. and I'll have to have multiple pages because I have that many whips. Yeah, we both do. So, And then, like, how many whips do you want on a page? If you're planning, you yeah. know, for ten whips, do you want all ten on the same page, or are you good with, like, a, an extension page? I'm good. I think, mm. I'm thinking at least five on a page. Yeah, five to eight on it's a, a good, page. good range. Somewhere in there. It, it gives you room you... for more stuff. Do mm-hmm. you want a place for pictures or doodles? Doodles. Like, there's all kinds of things that we can Stickers! I'm going to put stickers! There will be white spots for stickers, everybody. I love it's stickers. official. There's going to be stickers. sticker spots. I like white space, period. I end up filling it all up. But I like white it's, space it's on the page. It's like a blank canvas. Just so. like I can do stuff. Yeah, I like so, to do stuff. Now that we've gone through that. Okay. Yeah, so that's... We're excited about this, by the way. Like, we are, because we're, we're both planner nerds and love that kind of stuff. I'm thinking about we're going to get it on the blog, and just that's the day the blog starts. That's the day the blog starts. That'll be the first thing we put on the blog. We'll be talking about the whip down, whip down and the experimental, mm-hmm. and then the page that we do. And then as we create more pages or we make changes, we're gonna, we'll are gonna be putting more stuff yep. on. Yep. Maybe subscription services in the future is what we were thinking. The, like, the tech. I, I got all that. She's not got all that. Not a problem. I'm just the guinea pig. I just use it. Okay, um, we need to move. We do. We got a whips. I mean, uh, we did whips. We did whips. We have acquisitions. We have acquisitions. I have three. We didn't go anywhere. No, no, I didn't go anywhere for you. But we ordered we things. Yeah. You have a little bit more. I well, do. I guess we have about the same, don't we? I've got. We both have a big yarn, yarn thing. And two bag purchases. I have one bag. Somebody's got more bags than me. Actually, I purchased three, but two different. Places. Well, 
I started to go get the bags I got at um, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. <laughs> How about this? If y'all want to see the Harbor Freight bags, let us know. Let us know, and I'll show you. Stuff. There's two. Um, I'll show you. Cool. They are kind of cool. And I've ordered. I, I've, I've got a Jim and Beans put Delacue train, train cases twenty yeah. five percent off on Monday, and so there is a purple one coming to me. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited because it'll be here in time for me to load it up and take it with me to Jacksonville. I just have this vision of me sitting in the car. Let's see if they're still on sale. And having my train case with, I'm just so excited. They were yet yesterday, or the day before. They're still. They were 25 percent off the train case. Still 25 percent off. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll start there. I also placed an order, Jimmy Beans. That's come. I got an email from them that my credit. I think the green is the pretty green one. The orange one. I, I went back and forth between the orange and the purple. I like. I do like the new orange colors. But I I I, I went with the purple. You want to see orange? There's the orange one, so bright. Um, okay, so I got an email from Jimmy Beans last week that um, I had an $8 credit from purchases in the first quarter of the year that was getting ready to expire. I needed to use it. It was an $8 credit. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to let that go. That was pretty good. So I went online to look, and they were having, they had the black canvas Q stuff on sale. All the black canvas was on sale. They're not discontinuing. They just chose to put the black on sale. So I got, and I've been talking about getting a set of the cubbies. Um, they fit into my, the doctor's bag when the satchel, I think it's a satchel. And the black looks fine inside of the, it's brown on the inside, just like the inside of the bag is brown. And um, the two of them will fit. So this is the up close. And see, there's the inside. They're so cute. And it's very rigid. I mean, once you... Okay, okay this one I haven't unfolded yet. But, um, so I unfold it, and it pops open. And you... See, it pops open, and then it's this is the bottom. And you push the bottom down into it, and it stays. It is... It is... Doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. Very rigid now. So, see, it's... It's a little flexible, but it's it. I can't hardly squeeze it. So, and it holds obviously yarn quite well. And um, <laughs> well, that yarn. so see, two of them will fit in the bottom of my satchel, mm-hmm. and then you can just pull this out, or you can and use it as yarn bowls. You can uh, um, organize your notions in one of them. Use the other one for a project. However, you want to organize the thing. I use one at a time in different project bags. Um, I just think they're going to be incredibly useful. So I wanted to try a set, and then you know me, I'll probably end up with a set in every color. But I started with black because that was on sale. They were on sale for like 40% off. They were only $16 for the set of two. And then I had the $8 credit, and I had a free shipping coupon. So I got these two for 8 bucks and change. Not bad. So I think I call that a win. That was a score. Yeah. For so sure. that that was my first Jimmy Beans thing, and now I've got the purple train cases on its way. Um, I'll show it next time because I'll have packed it up and getting it ready for my Jacksonville trip. All right, All right so there's those. All right, I'll do a, a bag. Yeah. All right, this is who was this from? Oh crap! Katie no, did. Katie did. Yeah, Katie did bags. Katie did bags. Um, so she had a Labor Day sale actually, and so Michelle sent me a text message and said, "Did you see she's having a sale?" And I shouldn't have read the text message because I ended up buying one. But isn't it I pretty? Got a cute little um, notions bag, zipper bag, the plastic Pla- vinyl. The vinyl. Thank you. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, this is the flowers one. So it's it's like so see-through. pretty. Look, Look at, at the, the zipper. zipper. <laughs> oh, it's a rainbow zipper. Isn't that cute? God, that's so cute. And then a little, this is a little rainbow flower. A on rainbow there. flower zipper pull. So I'm going to get, um, there's two little tabs on the side. I want to get an adjustable strap that I can hook on there and then mm-hmm. on the side. Just, you can knit straight out of this. Like there's, it's oh, yeah. super easy. But this is, it's good and sturdy. It's and, a thick vinyl. It's a thick vinyl. It's and, not. Flimsy. No, and there is no like my Office Depot rainbow bag. It's it's that's a whole lot flimsier than this. Is good thick plastic. Yeah, and I don't like these could eventually come off, but they they seem on there pretty well. I'm not sure they'll. they'll yeah, 
It won't get that much. much abuse. It will not be scratched on the outside. Like they are actually printed on the inside, so they'll last longer than any other kind of thing. That's yeah, printed they don't on the scratch inside, out. So, but it's so pretty. It is. I wish I'd gotten cute. one. You could get the other one, the star. One. I got the star. I got the crossbody. The crossbody. It's yeah. basically yeah. that shape, mm-hmm. but, but it, it has. Is. It's a little taller, and the zipper's on the front, mm-hmm. and it has a shoulder strap. It That's has a strap too. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm not sure yet. That may go into the football game with me. Although I did order two other clear bags that you might want to check. Because remember, we we saw that the clear bags could be things. Yeah, so that's on. why I ordered I ordered two clear bags, a belt bag and a shoulder bag to um, use. Because I got to have the knitting. The socks are going to be going to the football games. There you go. So I got this bag. Bag bin. I love that. It's beautiful. Do your other bag while you're back binging. Okay. I um, Should we talk about why we did it, though? Because I did it because of this. Okay. Well, we both did it. Did but, things. Yeah. We both had so, the bag and those things. Well, then we'll start with that. Uh, so, <laughs> we saw this before somebody tagged us on Instagram, um, but I saw Tammy's first. I don't know. If I saw was, Tammy's okay, first. Okay. So, yeah. Homesteading with Tammy, which we've already... Did we already kind of talk to her? Yeah. You yeah, talked about her about, because of I, the, my Star, Star Wars, Wars bag. bag. Um, she had posted that she was now selling uh, Erlenmeyer and Round Bottom Flask. There's, is that even in the front? Yeah. That's her card. And we've talked about Tammy before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Homesteading with Tammy is her website, I think. Is We've had a few of her bags to send off to some. Yeah. There's Homesteading with Tammy. There's the website address. Yes, she sent us um, gift bag, you know, bags to use as gifts and um, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that word. We'll whisper it. Maybe the bots can't hear. Yeah. Whisper. Bots won't hear. It. Um, but so she got Erlenmeyer flask and yes. round, round bottom, bottom flask, flask stitch marker. Like stoppers. I mean stoppers. Look at how Needle cute. stoppers. Aren't they cute? I, did, I think this was the only ones that she had, right? Yeah. It, uh, she had blue, pink, and green. You got a blue. I one got a there. blue one here. I ordered a set of pink because it's close. Purple round bottoms. And green Erlen Myers, and I was going to split the pair and give her a pair and me a pair that resembled our mascots. But somebody ordered her <laughs> own in this. the meantime. And so we now we both have multiple sets. Yes. So I we're think excited about these. You can get them um, in the pink, green, or blue, or there's two different like multicolor multiple sets. sets. This so is what I Tammy ordered. splits them up for you and yep. puts them. So you can get pink and green in the Erlenmeyer and blue and green in the round bottom flask. Yeah. And they have holes on both ends. So both ends, so they'll fit on, on those big safety pins I showed. Sh- sh- last episode or the episode I before? I don't. The episode before, because last episode was all about the. Crawl, yarn crawl. That's Last true. episode before. Um, I, who else had them that somebody tagged us? It was Mountain something, wasn't it? It wasn't Twin Mountain. It was it, um, somebody did tag us. Thank you for tagging us because we yes, love thank you. This yes, stuff. and um, and I responded back that we'd already ordered them. <laughs> I didn't even notice that it was a different company that was carrying them other than Tammy, but we, we had ordered them from Tammy. I don't think they had as many colors. They and they only I had don't think so. Oh, I know how to tell you who it is because I've got an order form pulled up from them uh, where I'm, I've got the other ones bookmarked. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. It's and Tammy had Mountaintop a Yarn. Mountaintop Yarn. Mountaintopyarn.com. And, oh. Didn't save your card. It didn't save my card. It did for a few days, but they she's got, um, she does yarn too. Yeah. She does yarn too, but so and embroidery bags. and tapestry kits and all kinds of things. Um, okay, the dumpster fire. Ones the dumpster. Are she did have this one. Uh, mountain, was it mountain and the corgi butts. Mountain top yarn has dumpster com. fire and corgi butts. Corgi butts and yaks. These <gasps> here. Good. These two are the ones that have just got my little heart. It's a black kitty cat and a basket of yarn and astronauts. <gasps> little three D astronauts. Little three D. Oh, I just love those. And then there's tarot cards and penguins and chickens and oh, here we go. Saturn. Saturn's planets with rings and squirrels. and squirrels. So all four of those are in the cart. Well, they were. They were. Those were the four They're that were in my cart. Eating. And a, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. Because squirrel. Everybody gives me squirrels, so I need squirrels. Um, space. You know, I'm teaching astronomy and I'm a space nut. Mm-hmm. Totally. 
I, everything about space. When they went to space. I, I wasn't really there. I watched it on <laughs> television, though. I do remember on television. I was showing Apollo 13 and astronomy. We finished it up Ooh. today because we're talking about going from the Earth to the moon. Yep. And, In case um, you're wondering, they fit two to eight. Or, sorry, size, two to 13. Two, size two to t size 13. Needles on the stoppers. But um, I remember so much. Of, so There's a lot of footage in Apollo 13 that is actual footage from, especially the news stuff, like all the Walter Cronkite stuff and mm -hmm. um, from the news media and everything. And um, I remember it. I remember watching those particular newscasts because I was fascinated by it. The summer before is when we watched Apollo 11 and Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon. And then the Apollo 13 thing was the next year. It was in 1970, and I was in first grade. And I remember it vividly. Because Apollo 13, we were on spring break. Mm. We didn't go anywhere. We were home, but, but I went at school. At school and yeah. so I watched, I watched news all day long because of the Apollo stuff. I was fascinated. I didn't understand half of what was going on, but... I don't um, think most people did. No, not probably not. But I, I was fascinated with it. So it brought back a lot of memories watching it today over the last few days. Okay, when we placed these orders with Tammy, we also, of course, had to get bags. bags. For free shipping. So you want to do yours? Or? Yeah, I can. I got, okay, so I had not seen this fabric before, so I was super excited when I saw it. But she, I'll do the little one first. So here is the Hufflepuff fabric. Look at that. It's so cute. I There's love this, this cute fabric. Little, like green witch hat, um, stitch marker Wizard in hat. there. Wizard hat. And then <laughs> the yellow. yellow on the back. Like I thought it was super cute. It is. And, and it matches. The big matching bag. Ta-da. So she had two different ones. There was this one and the one that had like the yellow bottom. Um, I liked this one better. And then because the inside was, what do we say? Was the inside yellow? On, on the other one, one yeah, is yellow. I, I it's gray on this one. this one. I'm so sorry, yeah. guys. I just hit the mic. Hit like and then I've got a cute little pumpkin on the inside that's green. A green pumpkin. Cause Tammy knew it was us. Yeah, she knew it was us. Because this is it's all I green. Has, I has a purple one. It's super. It's like a little um, see through. Yeah, I can't see it on the camera, but it's actually transparent or translucent. Yeah, translucent. Translucent because it's not because it's not completely transparent. It's not completely. It's transparent. a lucid, not apparent. It's all right. It's lucid. There's my, oh, okay, oh, that's upside one. down. But that's my purple one. She knew it was us. She knew it was us. That's my purple one. <laughs> this is one of her snap top bags. I'm in love with snap top bags. I Y'all, I run my thread right out of it, snap it, and it doesn't roll out and go yep, everywhere. It's good. Um, I just got a medium one. I think yeah, um, this was large. With the, Yeah, because it's bigger than this. But it's got a wrist handle and snaps. But... And it's fall. It's one of the fall fabrics. I don't remember what the name of the fabric was. Uh, but it was sold out when I looked earlier. Sorry, guys. It's, it's a red barn. My grandfather had a bright red barn <laughs> at the farm. And then the old pickups. I just... Oh. And then the uh, touches of aqua and the it's pumpkins and gourds. Yeah. And I just... Oh, I just loved it. And the fabric on the inside is beautiful. It's a coordinating fabric. It's the pumpkins in the same colorways. See the pumpkins? Ah... I'm just, I love this. So this is going to, as soon as we get some fall weather, I'm mm -hmm. going to load this puppy up. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. For our purple and green. You know we love it. You knew it was us. Okie dokie. Did drop a stitch? Did you drop a stitch? I, no, I don't think so. I think it just fell, like I, it fell off, but nothing dropped. Yeah, we're, okay. good. we're good. That's good. All right, so that's sure. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have... I have one more. I have two. So you want to do one more and then I'll... I have two and then those are things from Stash to talk so about. Are and want to do's. do's. Okay, I'll let you pick one and then I'll, I can do my... Then we'll do our two yarns. yarns. I got yeah. one where it's all stitch markers. Okay. Um, Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Um, Which they do a ton of things. Not just... I don't think they do just um, knitting or crochet type stuff. They do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, see there's there's the name. Twin Mountain Handcrafts. Um... I think I saw her first doing like acrylic stitch markers and acrylic tools mm -hmm. and things like that. I'm pretty sure it, it might not be the right brand, but I, I think they have a Glowforge or something that does all of the engraving and things Cutting like that. and all that yeah. kind of so stuff. I lot. think they have a Glowforge. I yeah. think you're right. Um, they talked about it. But yeah, so everything they make is just, it's beautiful. Yeah. And she's, I know I talked about the pigskin party. You did. Last time. Um, 
uh, y'all and anybody who's watched us before. By the way, if you're a returning viewer, thank you very much for coming back. If you're brand new, you I hope far. you've made it this far, <laughs> and thank you for coming. Um, so Twin Mountain Handcraft um, got involved with the Pigskin Party Who puts the for pigs? 2023. I know Diane of Suburban Stitchers done yarn, which is on the way. Um, and Twin Mountain Handcraft was doing stitch markers and stuff, and several other people were involved. I think there's a pattern that's been designed maybe by Shana Billow. I'm not, I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that, but you could search Pigskin Party 2023 on Instagram, and a whole bunch of stuff comes up. But y'all know me and my football obsession. So I ordered all the football things from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. So the if first I had thing. I've seen them, I might have ordered some of these too because some of them are super cute. All right, this is the stitch marker set for Pigskin Party. And this first, this is, it, it's their, their logo. logo. Yep. And I didn't know that they had those things in, in rainbow. Little they clip things. Back, and know. then we've got, okay, they're all turned around backwards. So there's a little wooden football helmet and a little wooden football and an acrylic skein of yarn and which also has a little no there's another little wooden football there's two football helmets two footballs this acrylic yarn and the acrylic logo thing there so that's the pigskin party stitch marker set and this i oh, just love this i'm gonna hang this is a knitted football and you hang your progress keepers off of it so all of these are progress keepers and I'm gonna hang all of them on here. And then this clips onto your back. Or all those great little D-rings. Uh, yeah, D-rings all over the place, or on a chain around your neck, whatever you wanna do. But these are gonna go on this and go everywhere I go, especially during football season. Well, then she also did buttons. Look at the cute little buttons, guys. Look. I'd have bought these just because they're okay. knitted, okay. but knitted football buttons. They look just like this they're the wooden knitted fabric football style but they're buttons and i got three of them so i'm going to have to come up with a pattern to put them on i'm thinking a vest yeah. i'm thinking about doing a vest there's a couple of new patterns out that are just a super cute ones coming cute out right button now. up vests and i'm gonna and then so three button vest with my football buttons. So I'll be looking for a pattern for that. If you, if you know of anything, drop me an a idea. And then, how do you say, piece de resistance? <laughs> football <laughs> earrings, y'all. And they're mocha. It was called mirrored mocha or mocha mirror or something like that. Anywho, I have made myself wait until we recorded today <laughs> so I could show you those earrings and I'm going to start wearing these puppies <laughs> all the time. I mean, I am constantly wearing a sports team shirt. She is, yeah. Football and baseball. I mean, baseball, I only wear the Astros because that's my team. But football, I've got Raiders, I've got Jaguars, I've got Oklahoma State Cowboys and Clemson and NC State. In Pattersville High School, and you know, all the places, and I'm always wearing football gear and football stuff. Mm -hmm. I finally have some football earrings I love, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh so, my those God. were my acquisitions from Twin Mountain Handcrafts. So, there, I'm gonna hold that back up one more time, really close, so you can see Twin Mountain Handcrafts.com. I mean, that's Twin Mountain Handcrafts.com is their website, mm -hmm. okay. Sorry, I've been looking at their stuff on their website. They have a lot of cute stuff. Oh, oh so cute. All these I just made myself say, I'm just ordering football stuff. Just football stuff. Just football stuff. Just this dinosaurs time. Dinosaurs and mushrooms. This time. She's just great. And she, I mean, she'll order like her shapes. You can get them in acrylic. You can get them in wood. Um, you can do different colors. I mean, you, th there's lots and lots of choices. Oh, my God, those are so cute. I really, really like it. Mine. Oh my gosh, the cable stitch ones are super cute. Look at those cable stitches on the mirrored backs. I know, isn't that <gasps> awesome? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not bad at all. Mm -mm. Oh man. Okay. That is a I've good... got I know we're both looking at our phones and I'm so sorry. But the next thing I want to talk about, I need to pull a pattern up you to show you. You can get the ring as hexagons instead of rings. 
Yeah. The hexagon stitch markers. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm in trouble. I need to go. I need to find a second job. <laughs> just to pay for the stitch just marker obsession. Stitch, just to pay for all the yarn and stitch markers and things I want to do. Like, I need to find a way to have, make income. I know. That is not going to go straight into the bank account and then back out for mortgage and power and food. Mm, I know. We have to eat. <laughs> True that. Okay, I'll go... Um, cause I've got my pattern pulled up for some of this. Okay. You do just that. Do I've got mine already. Mine's pulled up, but you go. This is Michelle's fault. I just want to put that out there. That it is her fault that I did this. I ignored the email when it came to my personal email <laughs> and she went and emailed my school email. <laughs> with... No one, she wouldn't check it on her personal. <laughs> I did so good. I saw it. I saw the word sale. I said, nope. I don't need more yarn from Primrose. <laughs> and then it came through on my school email. All I saw was Michelle, and I opened it, and I was like, there are kids in here right now. I don't know if it's still going. Probably not. But Primrose Yarn Co. had a 40% off all of their homestead yarn. Which not is a just, color change and stuff we like so yes, much. Yes, and it wasn't just... Um, that is super cute, by the way. I know. Um, it wasn't... Their second sale, it was everything. They had no seconds. It was all their... First line. Yeah. Um, 40% off made them $19.50 a piece. I almost bought $300 worth of Primrose and said, no. <laughs> don't have the money in the bank for that. So I bought six skeins instead of way, way, way too many. So first, this is... It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I just forwarded the email. I so, was ignoring and ignoring so I knew well. She'd Look at it. She didn't buy any. I didn't. Because I just bought Primrose at from Angie and Pearl. Yeah, she did. And by the way, I remembered, I used Primrose in my May Drop tea. The test knit, oh, yeah. which I when I was talking about test knits, I forgot about the May Drop. I've done four test knits. I'm on this my year. fourth test knit this year. Wow. So... You did good. I did, but I used Primrose in the May drop. You did. All right, so this the first one I got was a mixture of Starling and Bramble 2. Um, it is the Homestead Sport. So pretty. Can so, you, is the pink showing up? Yeah, right yeah there. there it is. See the pink right there? That is so pretty. So something to note, uh, she doesn't do with her second sale or like the, the um, one off, other one-offs and that kind of thing. But if you see a picture and there is one of them in there specifically that you want, you email them and they will try to get you that specific skein of yarn. I did not do that this time. Um, but if you're looking at all of them together, some of them are very different. I'm going to show you that in a second where I've got four of the same colorway and they're not, they're very different from each other. So if you see one, you're like, ooh, that's the one I want, you can always email them and ask them about it, and they'll, they'll work that out with you if they can. I got this specifically for a pattern that was on their website, and I'd seen in several emails called Leaf Peeping. Yeah, we've sent back and forth to each other have, several times. Uh, Elizabeth Hall, and it is a cowl. It's gorgeous. Specifically, I think, if I remember correctly, it was made, no, it's Spin Cycle. It's a yeah, spin she cycle Spin version. Cycle. Um, but I thought that these colors right here represented fall pretty well. Mm -hmm. Doing like a cream or a white colored background would look good. Or even like if I wanted to do something super dark. But I think cream would look good. I think cream or pale gray. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. So, super cute pattern. There's my yarn for it. And we'll have it linked in the show notes below. As well as where to get And primrose. We'll have we both will. linked. Um, and I can't remember what pattern I picked out for these other two. But I had a pattern. Um, I have a couple wanna do's that we'll show later that I could use these for, so it could be that it ends up in that anyway. Um, this was a third anniversary, I think it was for her son, if I remember correctly, or something like. I don't remember. Something like that. This is Adventure Awaits. In worsted. In worsted. I'm said worsted. worsted. Look how pretty it is. It is so pretty. So I almost ended up getting a gray one. There was another gray one on there that I really liked. And that was the other one I thought about getting like 10 skeins of, but I didn't. But look at like this blue in here and then the dark blue. That's a really pink, pretty skein. That, that is a really pretty so skein. And of course they were all beautiful. So How many yards is that? Uh, 100, 250? Yeah, 250. No, this one's 250. That one is... 150. 150. Yeah, 150. Because this is the oh, sport. Sport. Sport's that, 250. The worst is, worst is 150. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Again, you should make a beautiful cow. Nineteen dollars and fifty cents. That's cheaper than their um, second second sale. The second sale did, when yeah. they do second. Because seconds are twenty two dollars. Yeah. Um, 
And they do a point system too, by the way. So you know, just just if you're for, for your regular buyers. <laughs> Um, then I wanted, again, I wanted a sweater quantity of something that I could, uh, like, I wanted to use. And again, I picked a pattern. Don't remember the pattern I picked. It's not that big of a deal. I'll find something. But this is Revel Beat. Are you ready for this? One. I'm going to hold it up. Let's see the colors, how many purples there are in that. Two. This is also Revel Beat. See the differences between them? This is Revel Beat. Three. Again, all the differences. And four. And look at that fade that they sent me. Isn't that pretty? Oh. That's going to be so <laughs> I gorgeous. pulled it out and I about like cried. It was so beautiful. It I was like, oh my really, gosh, I love it. Really pretty. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm super excited about whatever sweater this is going to be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these colors That's are. That's gorgeous. Again, if there's four of them specifically that you like in the pictures. They will make it happen for you. And again, I didn't do that. I just, I let them pick for me and they did a fabulous, fabulous. job. Absolutely gorgeous. Gotta love Primrose. It's my, I, I do yeah. absolutely love their yarn. It's been kind of an obsession lately, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Ever since uh, I bought my first stuff and then I made the Easy V and I was like, I love this yarn. Yeah. yeah. I like, I, when I did the, the May Drop, that cream v-neck I did that had the color work around the bottom. I, I, Primrose is Homestead Sports, what I used in it. And it's so beautiful. Okay. That's it. That's all my, that's all my uh, acquisitions. I did pretty good, in my opinion. I, I didn't buy so $300 too. worth of yarn. I thought you did, too. So, here we go. I think I showed the cow pattern. From, you might have. I think I showed the cow pattern of this. No, it was the socks. I want to do a cow pattern. Okay, that's what it was. All right, this pattern came out in January. Mm -hmm. These socks called Herd of Cats. Aren't they just the cutest things? And I don't want to knit a pair of socks, but I do want, I did think about doing a cowl. And I just haven't done anything about pulling together colors or any that kind of stuff. So, but that's been in my thinking, my thinking thing, my thinking cap. Well, then last couple of weeks in September. This pattern dropped by Stone Knits, by the way. It's Stone Knits is is who it's by. And these are the herding cats. Kitten mittens, she called them. Kitten mittens. They're fingerless gloves. Um or mitts. You know, they're all all one piece across the across the hand. But see those and I looked at those colors and said, oh God, those cat colors are gorgeous. So I looked at what yarn she used, because I might would make mitts. I definitely want, I still want a cow with a kit with the cats on it. And she used yarn from Road Trip Sock, and it's called Herds of Cats. Um, Herd of Cats is what the, the grouping is called. So I went to, okay, I seem to have screwed up royally here. I went to their website. <laughs> and, um, yeah. She has a whole section on her website. It's an Etsy shop called Meow Melange. And she goes in and takes pictures of homeless kitties at the shelter, the shelter kitties, and puts them together. Cute little kitties. And a set of yarn. These six kitties are represented by these six mini skeins. How cute. Isn't that the coolest thing? Does she... Some of her profits go towards like the some kids. of her profits go the meow melange the yarns go towards the shelter and helping the shelter. So that's six of the the meow melange, six of the kitties, and that's their matching yarn. Um, this is one she sent me to show a different set of kitties, very similar to this one, and um, this is another set of kitties that she has yarns that match, and then. Um, there's this set of kitties. <laughs> okay, on the live the other day when I showed the, the stocking I made for Bella, our kitty that passed, she was a rag doll. So these were her colors too. And her eyes were blue. So I'm thinking this is what either a cow or a set of mitts needs to be in the... And she has kitty eye colors. All right, so she's got gold and green and the blue 
kitty eye colors. So you can have their eyes and their fur. And you this looks your... like, does this not look like Bella? I mean, this really does look like my, my ragdoll kitty who's no longer with us. But I just thought that was gorgeous. So I had to have that. Um, I didn't get a kitty eye color to go with this because I'm gonna, I've got a bajillion, you know, skeins of yarn here, <laughs> to say the least. But these are gonna, this is gonna be a cowl. Those are gonna be the mitts, I think. But then, she also but wait, had, there's but more. wait, there's more. Y'all have been introduced to Gray Baby, the new mm -hmm. kitten, who I told you was gray and white. He has the triangle on his chin. He's gray and white. He's gray and white. Mostly gray with little bits of white. Little bits of white. So he's around here somewhere. Right here. And he has green eyes. So I had to have that. For the new one. For the, to match my baby. And so, yeah. Because in this set are my other kitties. Well, it's not really a solid black, but there's a tortoise shell, and you get the drift. I'm matching my cats here. So all of these... You know, not only is she the crazy bag lady, she's a crazy cat lady. I'm a crazy too. cat lady, and a crazy bag lady, and a crazy yarn lady. And um, Allie is the owner of Road Trip Yarns and the Meow Milan stuff. Yeah, Sent me a wonderful note about um, ordering the kitty stuff. And she sent me a stitch marker. Little kitty stitch Little marker. Little kitty stitch marker. Isn't that cute? I also ordered these stickers because they're just, it's a ball of yarn car. Seriously, <laughs> if I could get a ball of yarn as a car, I would. That would be fun. Or get a, a wrap for a car. Yes, it's all like. And it looks like knitted. Cables. Yeah, so I have, I got stickers that I'm going to put on everything of that. So, oh, and I ordered oh, the big one. The big sticker. I ordered the big one. She sent me the little ones. So, is that not the cutest thing? The big sticker. Big sticker. Okay. That's that's the last of the acquisitions. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we acquisitioned a very little. I said, see the Girl, note. We are like. The note has a, cat, a black cat sticker. I mean, stamped on it. We are barely an hour in and we're almost done. So we're going to have a lot of time for want to do's. Well, we have one specific want to do we want to talk about. You I, just, did, I don't have it. You didn't bring anything, anything together. I, I can't decide what I want. The first thing I take a picture of, I'll show it to you. And then you can tell me what you think. Okay. We talked about this before. That, um, That's why that I'm religiously right here. Yeah. So she's trying to get this. Stephen West. This is the mystery knit along from 2020? 2019. Yeah. Um, two, two years ago. 2020. 2020, yeah, I think it's so, the 2020. Because last year was Twists and Turns. I, I got it right here. And the one before that was um, We Didn't Do. Yeah, the one before that we didn't do. Um, uh, 2020, because I started in October of 2020. Okay. So the Slip Stravaganza was the Mystery Knit Along in 2020. Yep. Um, 2021 was There's People Screaming at Me watching this, telling me what it is. Yeah, because But I can't remember because I talked about live. it and I still can't remember. And then last year was Twists and turn. I started Twists and Turns, and I had the first section, and that's all I did. I just, I couldn't. It was more than I could do. But I'm ready to try a new one. So it, this one's called Geo Gradient. Do I have it pulled up here somewhere? Oh, I love his picture. because a cute picture. The right? picture, that alone just did it for me because, uh, you know, space. We've already had that discussion about how I'm a space junkie. And, um, yeah, I don't have it pulled up anymore. I got it right here. Okay. She's going to pull it up. See, he's in his space helmet and he's got all the nebula looking stuff behind his head. Geo gradient. Knit along. Mystery knit along. So we're going to do it. Some. I had need to buy the pattern. I haven't done that yet. I haven't either. But, but I need to do that. Some of his, his kits he's put together. Too. Oh, he's, uh, yeah. He's got a great video, too. Actually, yeah, that yeah. he's put out so far, where he shows all the different kits that Stephen and Penelope. I mean, they look very much fadey too. Like you they could do, look, do a fade gradient. Yeah. Hey, there's two different kind of themes going on. There's a, a fade where, where it's a gradient and the same one, all one color. But then he also does it where it's different colors. But he's, but he's saying mostly solids. Mm -hmm. You don't want a lot barely of barely any speckles. Barely any speckles or any activity in your yarn. And then, um, uh, what's it he calls? Crescendo. It builds to a crescendo so your through your four colors, and you, need, and you need four skeins. So it's a crescendo of color. I love it when he says that. Crescendo. Okay. 
So I have two different things. I initially thought of this set I got at Stitches, Stitches. United in Atlanta the last time they had it. it and was we went. 2019, January 2019, 19. I think. Yeah, yeah, it was before the world shut down. Before, yeah. um, it's from Seven Sisters Yarn. Seven Sisters Yarn. Um, arts yarn. She's in um, Maine, so I have a special part in my heart for Maine, Maine makers. Um, and I got four colors. I think you got it as a set, didn't you? Like, I, like well, it was put together for you, or did you? No, I, it was. She had dyed them as a, you know, in the four colors, but I just picked out the skeins I gotcha. wanted. Okay. And then there. Now, while I can, like, okay, I'm trying to turn this way so the label's not there. All right. Looking at them in the camera, you can tell a distinct gradient pattern between the four. And but these two just look too close. They just mm -hmm. in real life there there'd be no difference between the next to dark and the dark. There's no crescendo. It's well know, this one's pretty variegated, or these yeah. two are actually kind of variegated and yeah. might not go so, so well for that. That was solid my thing. first instinct was to use this, but mm -hmm. I don't think that's gonna work. Now Something that like I pulled them out and looked at them. But what I do think these will work for. She has a pattern picture. I have a pattern plan. Is Spectre by Hohe Locatelli. Um, I think these four skeins would be the bomb. In she's that. got plenty of yarn there. I have plenty of yarn because these are 463 yards of skein, and I have four of them. And so it's plenty of yarn to do my size in that pullover. Yeah. Just about, or a little over. Oh, it's 1,600 plus... 12 plus 240, so 252 plus... No, no, what you needed for the pattern. Oh, what I needed was little... less than 1,600. It was 15-something. 14-something. 14? Wasn't it? Okay, size 4. Da, 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 Keep da, going. There. Total yardage. 1623. Oh, it was 1620. I was thinking about the, those, the size 2 and 3. But to do a size 4, which is going to give me 4... No, 2 and 3 quarter inches ease... Um, and one to three is what's recommended. One to four is what's recommended. Um, 1,620 yards. And this is what I just said. 1,600 plus 252. So 1,852 yards. I have plenty. plenty. Plus I'm short. I'm not going to make it as long as Hohe's pattern because Hohe's tall and I'm not. She is long-bodied. And long-bodied. And I'm short and short-bodied. So that ain't it. So this is going to be Spectre. So there's a want to do. <laughs> But hatched out of the geo gradient stuff. But this is what her um, current. Let's put it that way, because it, it is, might change. Yeah, it might change. Because I got till October fifth. October fifth, next week, sometime. Ta -da. Thursday. Till Thursday next week. I really like this. It looks good. I really, really like this. Um so there's my crescendo of color. I know these two seem very similar, as do these two, kind of, in value. But I think that they're going to work. Because they're so different colors. Because they're so different. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. I think that's going to work. These two have more of a difference in person than on camera right now. They look mm -hmm. kind of close, to, closer together than I thought they did in person. It's funny. There, that looks like there. a better, like... Yeah, it's better light. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's not as dark as it is when it's back here. All right, so these yarns are, this is Beaumont Yarn Company. Uh, it's a local dyer in Beaumont, Texas that um, I got this this summer when I was visiting Dad, and I made one quick run to the yarn shop. This is Plucky Knitter, Hay Sunshine, in their Oxford Merino Cashmere. This is just wool nylon sock yarn. This is merino cashmere. I just have one skein of it. Then, not a clue. <laughs> Probably a Madeline Tosh. I think that it's cerulean. Is that what that is? It's the same color I tried to use for... I, I, yeah, I have that color. I could bring a skein tomorrow and show you that it, that is definitely... It starts with a C. Centurion. Centurion. I don't remember ever buying right, that. And it's towards the C. Okay, but anyway, I don't know what that is. But you can see it's, yeah, it's it's tonal, but it still reads solid. And these three together, I really, 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 really like. And then I pulled out what I think is a Malabrigo sock, but I don't know for sure. 
that deep plummy kind of color. I think that would really, that's going to really, really work. So that's my, that's my color weight, I think, for Geo Gradient. That's where I'm leaning, is that. All right, so Geo Gradient. All right, I can show you what I put together, but it's not, I don't think it's Did you take a work. picture of it? Yeah. It's pretty though. I really like that. I think I've showed all of these on here. So the first one here is, um, oh, what she just went out of business. What was it? The Silky Merino you bought from her several times. Golden Sheep. Golden Sheep. Golden Sheep. And then Red Stag Fibers. That is the. Um, oh, I need to get my Golden Sheep stash out and go through that. So I bet you have plenty. Oh, because yeah, I bought every color she did. Got all of her yarn. Tobacco. And that's the, the camel blend. And then this one here is the, was it Studio or Bridge 55? Oh, 29 Bridges. 29 Bridges, that green color. And then that is, um, it's not Red Stag, it was Knit and Bro when they were going out of business. So all of those have some kind of silk or something like that, or cashmere type thing in them. They're gorgeous. To give them like these, these but look how close they are. In. I don't think they're that bad. Um, let's see here. Because I've seen them all in person too. I think that's, they're in the wrong order, but I mean, I could. No, I see differences. I see more difference yeah. in yours than mine show in black and white. Yeah, there's definitely some major differences there. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Ooh, it'd just be a little bit different order. So the, Yeah, it'd be uh, different This order. one would be my lightest. And then bottom second, one, and then that third, one, and, and that fourth, one. yeah. Okay, so. I like it. Lightest. And so the tobacco, the gray, the green and then the dark blue i like it i like it a lot very moody in my opinion when it i is, saw it all together i like it i need to remember to bring it next it's time. a moody crescendo oh yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go look through my golden sheep okay so yeah we totally are probably getting ready to change yeah because i didn't think about my golden sheep stash i have a whole bag i mean I, it's yeah. all in a separate bag inside one of those uh Laundry baskets. Laundry baskets. I have lot to sort everything into. Oh, if you haven't watched our live, um, in order to clean up Shell World so that we could get in there, I had to, I bought five laundry baskets, tall laundry baskets from Walmart and sorted. sorted into the baskets <laughs> just so I could get it off the floor and make room for everything. I, it was bad. So yeah, I would I would go look through that because you've got. I think I will. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull out all my golden sheep. You've got like a favorite chair and that coastal grandmother like set that you bought. That's a mini set, yeah. That um, that go that. Yeah, but I've got I bought plenty. at least one of all those colors. Yeah. Her coastal colors and her um. Her greens, oh, They're lichen and guess. into the woods, oh. Dragon They're Horde would have beautiful. some great kits for this, I bet. I bet so too. I know I have that dark moody. I have well, this Dragon Horde stuff I've got, which is in my um, Crescent City, <laughs> Crescent City the book by yes, Sarah J. Moss, which is a series. There's a second book and then a third book coming out in January. Um, Somebody's doing a. I bought yarn from Plies and Hellhounds and from Dragon Horde that. Their color names that go with the characters from those two books, and they're um, I have yeah I looked at those, but they're I don't they're not um, tonal enough, solid enough. They're really um, variegated, especially the Dragon Horde ones are very very gorgeous, but they're variegated. But I might could blend some of those with some of the Golden Sheep too. I know that I saw somebody is. Coming out with a Sarah J. Moss. I sent it to you. Soon. Did you send it? I to sent it to you. It was you that sent it. Yeah. Okay. Court of Ash and something is what she's going to call her color family that she's doing, but it's all based on Sarah J. Moss books. Yes. Court of Thorn and Roses the series. Court of Ash and Starlight. And then, um, yeah, there I sent that to you. Um, and the Throne of Glass series, which is like seven books plus some prequel novellas and then the crescent city um house of series there's two books like i said there's two out on that series and um a third book coming out in january yeah. but um yeah so there we go 
I'm gonna, I'll have to go look at if I have any more other um, solids that I'm thinking about. I'm sorry, I just yawned really big. Oh, God, you did. Stop it. Um, you make me yawn. I know. I think this is open still, but instead of scrolling for it, I'm just going <laughs> to... Um, yeah, now we can move on to the other one. Of these. Yeah, that's what I was going to do right now. Is because I got the yarn here in front of me. Okay, I talked about this one already. I know I did. It's Interference by Maxim Sear. Max the Knitter mm -hmm. of the Le Garçon. Oh yeah, you freaked out team. about it. I love this sweater. I freaking love this sweater. And then Sharon at the Modern Skein did one. Uh, she tested it for him, and hers is in. I think I showed hers on the uh, podcast last time yeah I think you did I think I did you were very excited about it I was and um I mean like really excited about it so I went stash diving and believe it or not yeah. I have there's Sharon's okay yeah. here's Sharon's in that beigey color um and then the black and the white or black and beige, whatever colors. So anyway, that sweater, Interference by Maxim Sear. I have it in stash. All right, it's DK pattern, and this is Peyton's Classic Wool, which is a light worsted. I knit to a DK wet gauge on it all the time. You can make it work. I can make it work. I had it. Here's the black and the white. And Heather. Look at it. I have enough. I have... I only need is one of each of the black and the white. I have a sweater quantity of this Heather. Isn't it called Heather? Heath Heather. Heath Heather. Heath Heather. It's Heath Heather. So, I'm, there we go. 100% wool. Light worsted decay. And that's going to be an interference sweater. I'm so excited. I just love it. All right, my turn. Yes, your turn. That's all I pulled out yarn for. That's all I have yarn out for. And geo gradient's getting ready to change because I'm gonna go look at my golden sheet. Stash. Devin in the stash. Sorry, I'm in a mood. She's in a mood. Her Let's start start with this one. This is not today. What do we? What do we just say? Not, yeah, not not today. Not no, today. Yeah, we'll go with that. Right yeah. there. There it is. By Catherine Clark. Um, and this has got to be one of the most beautiful colorwork sweaters I think I've ever laid eyes on. Look They're at the moths. So it is so three colors. There is the black outline. There's the cream colored background. And then um, the moths change color using a spin cycle. So Or homestead. Or homestead. From so Prim this Rose. is my, my first thought here was, was this pattern you guys see this this is like i can't wait to do this okay so i'm yelling at my board at school always seek the light i'm gonna change it i thought about what did i say be the light yeah it's the or turn on the lights the the dumbledore quote i have it somewhere written down somewhere but and look at the little moth There's you could so do light it up from light crescent city <laughs> i haven't read that one yet. oh sorry no it didn't bother me uh, I need it's to not read. a spoiler. It's a, no, no. It's a, yeah. That's the T-shirt that Caitlin and yes. Emily and I got made. Isn't it cute? So that's, that's pretty. That's that is really pretty. Them. I can't. I haven't pulled that up yet. I need to do that. Catherine Clark. I started following her when she did her bee sweater. I think you and I both. Oh, she's got a cowl for the not to do not do day. There's a cowl too. Um, she did. The um, the moons that were in the that um, pom pom issue that I think you have pulled up. This is her. Yes, pattern. that's her. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so you know it's, it's the girl. But this is the one, Bila, that I pulled up the first time. Like, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That's actually three colors. It doesn't quite look like it. So she's got the black. She's got the light blue. And then if you look at this little like flower here, it's actually a darker blue that she uses on it. So there's a third color in this one as well. Not to what? Who? Not to today. N O C T U I D A E. I spelled it wrong. I don't think I could have spelled that right, even if I pronounced it right. Did I do it right that time? Probably not. Uh, too no. many eyes. Take an eye out. Which one? <laughs> before or after the U? Uh, there's no I before the U, so take out that one before. Okay, so it's U I. 
U-I. And L. Search it. Y'all. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a beanie with it. That's not hers. Right, there it is. There Catherine is. Clark. Okay. So. Sorry, guys. We, we really don't mean to both be on our phones. But we're at the want to do portion, so. <gasps> this is one of her cows. I love her patterns. Oh, know. my gosh. Don't know why I don't like to spend time looking at her patterns, but. What? Oh, she's. She's the one who owns Brooklyn General. Oh. She owns Brooklyn General. And oh, the guys, are the Needles of the Ready guys, are going to be there this weekend with their um, <laughs> wrapping up of the Mayak thing. If this doesn't scream Michelle, I don't know what does. It's moons and things. You see it? Like there's... It's, it's called the, It's my uh, tattoo. Lunar Embrace Cowl. Yeah. It's my tattoo. Oh, uh, uh, excuse me. Be right back. <laughs> Here's her uh, good day sunshine. Lunar so Embrace. I got suns all over it. Like that one's cute. But oh, yeah, that one there. Good day sunshine. Yeah. So she's got some good color work patterns. If you're looking for a color or if you need something for your uh, um, experimental. But that one's cute too. She's oh, just adorable. adorable. I have. Oh, my stars. And moons. <laughs> and moons. Ixchel, Ixel, Ixel. I don't know. I X C A G L. That's, That's the, the one, one with the, the, yeah, it's in my want to do list. Pom pom quarterly one. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I bought that issue. I'm if you pretty didn't, sure. Then you. Have she did a, a baseball jersey style mm-hmm. and called it a league of her own. Ah. Oh, how cute That's is that? It's a good movie. Look, oh, it's one of our favorites. See, look. I love it. And look at the oh. sleeves. The cuffs on the sleeves. That might have to be a do a do me soon project. Uh, this one I do, I think it's for both of us, right? She's got a knitted squirrel. There's a knitted squirrel. Michelle just cast on three more projects. Look at this. I have to have the knitted squirrel. I have to. I have to. <gasps> That's super cute. Look at that tail. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's so going to get done. I have I I use the whatever's left over. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have plenty, plenty of this one. I can, yeah, right there. Got me a squirrel. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have a squirrel. This is what happens. Gonna have a squirrel. This is what happens when we get together and start looking at patterns. It really is. This is not. We're not safe. We're not. We're not. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, this one we both want to do. This is uh, Don Barker's new. Um, uh-oh. Oh, yeah, the gloves with the little squirrels on them. We're going to choose them so much trouble. Look at those. See the little squirrels at the bottom there? Oh, my God. They'd make a cow. Oh, you could. I yeah. just used that stitch pattern for a cow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cute. You could wear it with, you could carry your squirrel around. You could make a little matching cow for your squirrel. <laughs> okay, I'll quit. I'll stop. I'll stop. I have a new love. We're, okay, I am so getting ready to just. Oh, and there's a booties pattern. I was looking for a booties pattern. There you go. Because I got a knit. Look at a cute little baby hat. It's got it's a, a hood. Li- it's got a hood. <gasps> and a little. <gasps> I'm going to be knitting these. What's that done in? Bulky. Oh, my God. That'll go so fast. Look at that baby hood. With the little shoulder. So cute. <laughs> I got to have these. I got three babies. I got I to gotta make three of these. Can't you see Sam Lyons' little baby in this? Oh, heck yes. Oh, my God. Ooh, you got to pick the right colors, though. I just do baseball colors. That's what I was going to say. Your baseball team colors. What's his baseball team? Oh, he likes the Phillies. There you go. And it's red and white, red and gray. Oh, so that's easy. Yeah. And that's so easy. is Powdersville, whom he coaches baseball he for. He does, yeah. Um, and the baby's due in January. I asked him today. Yes. So I had yes. a deadline. I'm super excited. I just want to cuddle that baby. I just want to take, I I want to take his baby and this. cuddle. I just Sorry, y'all. Want to do just erupted into all these things we hadn't even talked about yet. Show the Parker. Yes. So yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. No, I'm Squirrels. I squirreled on the squirrels. Squirreled on the squirrels. And, and then I found the, the baby. And then I found the baby. Um, so Don Barker's new assigned pooling is called Froth, and it's a cowl. I, it's beautiful. That's what I would call it. It is. Um, I think so. But we love the little froth pools. Like they're super. Look at how cute they look like they bubbles. Are. They look like bubbles. I want that yarn, too. Yeah. I've been so, real good. I hadn't ordered it because I got so much of sun pooling yarn right yes. now. Yes. So, I feel like this is one that I definitely am super excited to do. Look at Me, too. I have it. Oh, well, okay. I have the... There's the pattern pulled up. And 
Oops, go back. And then right underneath it, and then tab underneath. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back to, okay, I just lost it. Anywho, I'll find it back again. Right underneath it is um, my order page for the yarn. The, the yarn. See, there's the yarn right there that she's used. It's her Silky Solo. Cactus Annie is the color one, and um, Serenade is the gray base. Oh, oh, the new book. Yes, the new book. Okay, she's going to do the new book. Um, I just know this pattern is going to come from my sister very shortly. As she, soon as soon she, she sees, sees this, it, she's going to be like, make this. I haven't even made it. The other thing she's demanded I make for her. Um, so the new unofficial Fellowship of the Rings um, uh -oh, knitting book. By Tannis Gray. Gray. Um, I'm trying to get the full official title. The Fellowship of the Knits, the unofficial Lord of the Rings knitting book. There's and some patterns, of course, are not just by Tannis Gray, it. but this one specifically I know is coming to me, so I might as well put it on my want to do list because Rachel's going to ask for it. Um, this is the Elven Armor Pullover. Look at how cute. Like, I'd wear that. Like, I would too. Super cute. I would too. That's pretty. Oh, look at that uh, raglan. Yeah, it's a great, I know. I pulled it up so I could see the pleats and the way the back of the neck works. You can see the raglan really well in that picture, yeah. too. Oh, and the back is like layers. It's a super cute, like, little, I'm, I'm going to have to make one because it's cute. What is that? There's a picture with none of the little pleats on it. I don't know what it, I mean, it means. So there's that one. Yeah. Are you still over there? Uh, oh, she's got distracted by I, the kids. I did, seriously distracted. Okay. Um, here's one I found. This is by Bristol Ivy. Oh, yeah, she's in love. I do love this. <gasps> do you know what that would look good in? The um, the stuff that we got at Lofty Fiber. <gasps> These little triangles. Oh, that would, wouldn't it? What was that? Bam bamboo pop? Was it a pop? Wool pop. Wool pop. Wool pop. It would be pretty and will pop. Yeah, it really would. Sorry, got distracted. Okay, sorry. There it is. I just, it's like it's like a swancho kind of style, but I love that folded down neck, in, which, by the way, on the inside of it has a, look at that sleeve, the shoulder and the sleeve construction. That just fascinates me. This, this thing has my attention. Yeah, it has a... Symbol in the inside of the neck where she folded it down. Sorry, I'll pick all that up later. Okay. I'm not anything else. Um, I, that's one of the things I found that it just appeals to me because it's so different. It's construction. The other one that has rung my bell, <laughs> and those of you who've been around for a while will know that, this is the hoodie poncho sweater. Hoodie poncho sweater. Hoodie poncho sweater, all of which, look at that thing. Isn't that, there's, I just... I just love this thing. It's got thumb holes in the sleeves, at the bottom of the sleeves, and um, it has a hood in the back. It has a hood, and um, there's the sleeves, so you can see the thumb holes. And then I just, I, I just love this thing. It's DK, and so, yeah, gonna gonna pull that together. I might have to get some of your undyed DK. I got plenty. And use that, but I know I showed this, this. to you, right? Yes. You're about to you just about to blow your mind. All right. This is the possum pullover by Holly Sove. Guys, I didn't realize possum. it was possum. P A W P A W Possum. Not possum. Possum. Um you're, it's gonna it blew my mind just now you probably saw my face look at how cute that is right okay so you can make your own cat or dog so there's somebody's kitty somebody made a dog i'm about to blow your mind michelle there's there's her and her kitty oh it's a big kitty there's there's his little orange kitty i think that's pretty much it nope nope there are 31 photos here let's see so you um knit the Black cat kitties. face so the dog face oh my gosh look at what she did it looks so good. Um, wow, that's a wow. Yeah. Um, that was a wow. This is where it gets. This is where you're about to be like, oh my gosh. There are 18 cat breed blank charts and 38 
dog breed blank charts. In the you, pattern? Yes. You pick your, do, your, your pet face base and then duplicate stitch the color on top. It also includes four different interchangeable motif patterns. So this one's got the chevron. She did the paws. So it's a completely customizable, oh, she did the paws on the bottom and the chevron on the top. The entire sweater is 100% customizable to you and your pet. D cat or dog pet, not, that, that's gotta be like a chihuahua or something. You know what, that makes me wanna do a um, Christmas tree skirt. <laughs> With all your different pets. Or put them on the stockings. Oh, that'd be so cute. Look at, look at, I mean. Oh my God. How amazing is this pattern? Why has nobody told us about this? One? Look at that. Look she at must have yellow. two different cats. Oh my goodness. Well, there's little paws. I did not know how amazing this pattern was when I pulled it up to show you guys until I started like, oh, they did a dog. How did they do the dog? Um, let's see. Paws. Okay. I'll, I'll pull it up when um, we're done. Uh, I'm doing my. Show notes. I'll pull it up. This in. this is what what I think. So there's a table of contents on the pattern site, and the first one is like normal cat, and then you have fluffy cat, thin cat, folded ear cat, retriever dog section, big dog, pit bull, pointy pit bull, floppy, oh my, thin pointy dog, uh, poodle, pug, French bulldog, chihuahua, chihuahua, corgi, big W K R P in Cincinnati reference. <laughs> fluffy dog, doodle dog, small fluffy dog, beagle dog, uh, long-eared Yorkshire Terrier, schnauzer, and small fluffy long-eared section. Wow. If your dog's not on here, I think you can find one that's close enough. Yeah. That's wild. Everything you could want. Wow. Now, where's the dachshund? They have blank ones, and then they have, like, she has specific ones that you could pull up as well. With color. With, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. I need to buy this pattern now. I know. I'm going to have to, too. Just so I have the charts. Okay. This is this is more mainstream. <laughs> Sorry. This is more it's mainstream. Just... And we talked about this in our, our live last week, because it came out the day we, we did mm -hmm. our live last Tuesday. The Weekender Crew by Andrea Mowry. She's come out with... Um, her third version of the Weekender. The first one was a, was Worst Away. The second one, the Weekender Light, was Fingering Weight. Well, this one's DK, and she calls it the Weekender Crew because instead of a boat neck, which is the reason I have still not done a Weekender, is I'm not I'm not crazy about boat necks. I, they don't like the way they look on me, and I, I feel like I'm choking whenever I wear one. This has a crew neck, and it has the potential for pockets to add it. Her last two um, I'll Knit If I Want To podcast episodes – um, this one that's in the picture here, she did it at a size three is what she's wearing. So it's got a lot more ease in it. And this is her hand spun. She died. She spun up during the spinning challenge she did recently. The greenish one is done in Brooklyn T Tweed Dapple and it's a size two. It's the si a size smaller on her with less ease. She wanted to make two different sizes so she could see how the ease looked and felt. But um, she's wearing them in the last two episodes. Week before last, she was wearing her handspun one. And last week, she was wearing the dapple one. And um, so you can see her actually wearing it instead of just in the photographs. But um, I really like this. And I've got a Noro um, that I showed on the, the live that has yeah. its creams and grays and taupes. I mean, it's just all neutrally, light neutrals and should give me pretty much that kind of look so that I'm that that is something that's getting ready to happen because I really like the that look I'm so excited about a weekend that doesn't have the straight across neck I remember what my primrose was for I'm okay. not sure it'll still be this but um this I is think, what you I intended we, this is what we talked we've talked about this we've pattern, talked about that pattern yeah. farmhouse cardi yeah that, that's the one that I had officially decided on I believe if I can remember correctly but it's a super cute little cardigan that is a super cute cardigan uh, there was another one. There's always another one. Yeah. There's always another. I've it's, got another new release. Okay. Um, Cozy Up Sisters, Cozy Up Knits did the coalescent shawl. They did it um, with Crux Fiber, 
and um, to use at Knit City that was they just had this past weekend. Um, I'm, there's that doesn't pull. It, it, they, I love the girls, but their their picture taken is not always um, full. You know what I mean? The <laughs> There's just picture. two pictures. Um, you can't tell, but it's got striped sections. It's got textured sections. It has lace sections. It's three skeins of fingering. Um, they did it in Crux Fibers, and it was uh, a part of the Crux booth at Knit City. But um, there's the other picture. There's only the two pictures. But it it's it it's an asymmetrical triangle with different stitch patterns and and things that change. And when um, and it uses different sizes of yarn. All right, that's not just fingering. There's a skein of fingering. There's a skein of mohair, and a skein of DK. So hmm. there's three different. Well, there's a lace weight, a finger weight, and a DK weight. So it's different weights, different um, stitches, and um, all the different shaping. Okay, there you can see a little bit more of the details when I blow it up like that. It's cute. So it's it's a pretty shawl. I've been watching Sarah work on it on the last several episodes, mm -hmm. and um, it's really intriguing. I want to try it. Sarah always Sarah of the sisters always comes up with the neatest combination of stitch patterns, and and just I like the way she thinks. Uh, this is the Roxborough Dolman. I think I know I showed you this one. Cause it yeah, was I've got it open on mine too. Look how cute that! Look at the neckline on that. It's lower. It's a boat neck, but it's not up here. It's it's lower down. Yeah. So that one wouldn't bother me as much. The back. Look at the back. It's a cute pattern, and I. I it is. It's striped. It looks pretty. I love them stripes. The construction doesn't look bad. I think it's made mm -hmm. in pieces, though. Is it not? No, it's in the round, seamless. So there yeah. you go. I like that. I like, yeah, I like those. Um, okay, speaking of stripes and textures and all that good fun stuff, this is the Buffalo Check Mobius Cow by Heather Best. Um, this is the DK version. You can see there's some stripes and then there's the color work. And it's a Mobius, so it has a twist to it. Um, it's also in a, I don't think of the picture of the, yeah. All right, the blue and white one on top there is the fingering weight version. So she has a separate pattern for fingering weight and then the DK pattern, which is the orange and burgundy one. But um, I love that. I've got Uder, I mean, so many skeins, single skeins of DK weight and wild colors. And so I think I'm going to grab two and, and, and do that cow. I love that cow, that buffalo check, but in not red and black. Um, this one I think I sent to you. I can't remember who was knitting it, and then we had to find the pattern because it was oh, yeah. super cute. Um, this is the Cardi V neck um, by Ann Benzel. Benzel? Benzel. 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 Yeah. Um, super, I have a ton of her patterns. Yeah, super cute pattern. Somebody was knitting it, and we both Benzel, looked yeah. at it, and we were like, oh, my goodness, what is that pattern? Is it new? It's not new, but look how cute it is. It's a really pretty stitch pattern. It's um, I'm pretty sure it's mohair, but it could be something. I think she's holding mohair with a... Um, fingering weight. Well, it doesn't have an actual No, a DK weight. I think she's holding it with a DK. Um, Phil Kalana. Yeah. Mohair. Yeah, it's um, a brushed mohair. Well, it's got to be mohair. And then mohair silk. And then a just a, another lace weight yarn. Okay, so it's two lace weights. Yeah. To make a fingering weight total. Yes, it's what it looks like. Let's see. Um, so we're topped. Oh, no, I got nothing on it if you're holding two or three together. Okay. Three strands are held throughout the work. Three strands, okay. It's a three-strand pattern. It's super cute, though. I'm... It is pretty. I can make that. I would wear that. Speaking of, I would wear that. This is the Manhattan Vest by Tori Yu. It just came out. Um, and it's got crew neck or the mock turtle stand-up. Um, it's little short sleeve, little cap sleeves that come off. And it's, let me do the picture. You can see the split on the side. 
lots of ribbing and that deep split on the side. I think I would, it's more of a tabard than it is a vest almost. I would, I would wear that. I think I would wear that. Um, it's really, I just think it's elegant looking. Uh, one of the um, Knitter's League girls test knit for Tori and it's, it's really pretty on. She did a real pretty tobacco color. But that was another one that I really liked that I wanted to highlight. And I should stop. I think we've shown enough. Yeah, I've, I've got no more to actually oh, Well, no, one more. One, one more. more. Shay Johnson's. Uno mas. The Groovy Ginzer. Oh, yes. Groovy Ginzer by Shay Johnson. She's Knit Crochet on Instagram. And this is the most versatile looking pattern. Okay, number one, it's all over color work. But she has different sleeve lengths and different lengths. So that's it with like a spin cycle kind of color changing going on. And then here it is in a two color. A gold and cream or like a cream and a taupe. And it's so pretty. Let me blow that up so you can see it better. See that? And with those long ribbed cuffs. Or you could do the shorter sleeves like it was on the first one. And then this one is... Another version of the color changing. Let me blow it a little bit more. There you can see how that yarn is a pastel color changing. I just love that it's an all over uh, color work pattern. Here it is with short sleeves. Blow it up, Michelle. Here it is with short sleeves. Two colors and short sleeves and cropped. I like when patterns are written like that. And so it's, and it's really, I mean, it's incredibly versatile. And, um, so see, that's the first one that caught my attention was that one. I just think that's such a versatile, um, pretty pattern. I like the color work. I like all of the options. And I can't get this thing to go back. There it goes. I just really like that one. And again, that just came out. Just not too long ago came out. There's a lot of good patterns. I think we say that almost every time. There's so I know, but there really have been a lot lately. It just keeps coming. That were really, like, really good. There's so many things I want to knit and not enough time to knit them all. I finished the row. Yay. This is Shay's mother and hers that she did for her. Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. I like that. I did mean to tell I you. I like that overall color work. Out. Um... We, we've talked enough about Hello Lavender, about how much we love her and her, her business. But I wanted to tell you guys that, um, so I bought the, the Farmer's Market um, set that she did, not not the most recent set, but the set before that, I believe it was. Um, and she had found out that some of the clay that they used was um, very brittle and was breaking easily. So instead of just trying to figure out who she sent the brittle carrots to, they shipped one to everybody that ordered the set. So I like this just showed up in the mail. Oh, to like fix the problem. Like, what I thought, good customer service! That's what I thought. Like, that's amazing customer service. And I know she's had some customer issues lately with a few things going on with PayPal. But I we love her product. Like she, oh yeah, I I feel like if I reached out to say something, she would take care of. I mean, obviously, yeah. Somebody said something about the carrots, and they took care of it immediately or as soon as they could. Yeah, I mean turnaround time for those are she they're so detailed it does take her a while oh, yeah. but they're so it's beautiful. crazy oh they're beautiful they love really are stitch markers we love a lot of people's stitch markers but yep. yep hers are the detail in hers are by far the best i think i've seen they're awesome clay wise they're awesome so yeah i wore it as, mm. on jewelry yesterday i wore the storm cloud and the raindrops on a chain for a necklace I have two carrots now I could wear as earrings. You could wear carrots yeah. earrings. I have a purple one and an orange one I could wear too. You could, yeah, they'll go with that yarn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> purple and orange carrots right there. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I know what I thought about doing with it. It's pretty. It's very so, pretty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, too much yarn. Well, yeah. I didn't well, buy a lot. No. You, you didn't buy a lot. I, I didn't. I, I didn't cat yarn. I mean, for three weeks of not... Yeah, going been, over acquisitions. This yeah, is. that's not that much. I mean, most of what I showed is out of stash too. Mm -hmm. The only yarn I really did buy was the cat the yarn. Cats. I just couldn't help myself with the cats. I love the colors yeah. of cats. She bought more bags than I did. I did. Look at that. She did. She did. She did. One of them is her fault. The other one's Tammy's fault. <laughs> 
Demi's fault. Demi's not fault. my fault. Uh, okay, well, we're yeah, almost we to to two hours here. <laughs> we're and getting there. We've, we've covered all of our lists. I think we have. So, um, just a few things. Remember, start planning for the experimental knit along. Uh, make sure you like whip, and, or and do a whip down. Or whip down. Uh, like, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined this video. Yes. And let us know what you want in your digital whip down um, paper. Paper, yeah. <laughs> Document. Document. Planning sheet. Planning sheet. There you go. Whip down planning sheet. Whip down. Ooh, there we go. I like it. Whip down Not planning sheet. Not wipe down. <laughs> Whip, Whip down. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't wiping anything down. This house is a wreck. I don't, yeah. That ain't yeah. happening. I got, that's too good a knitting time. No, we don't. Okay, yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, yeah, we can live with the dust. That's right. No problem. <laughs> got that. But yeah, so those are the things to, to keep in mind. Yep. And remember, get ready for the fun. And let us know. Comment down below. And again, show notes will be below. I'll get them done tonight exactly. and tomorrow. She does a good job. She's good. Takes me forever, but I'll, I'll get them done. I will. <laughs> I promise. There's no football on tonight. There isn't. I can try to send it to you when I get home. Okay. It might not take We'll do long. that. It doesn't take too long if I just upload it immediately, but if I make changes to it, it takes forever. Yeah. But I do it for you. All of you out there. <laughs> we love you. We do. This is so much fun. Thank you again for joining us. And remember, knit periodically. <laughs> Bye, y'all.